only about one third of nitrogen applied as fertiliser is taken up by the cane crop. This situation has a significant bearing on farm profitability and potential environmental impacts resulting from the loss of some of that remaining nitrogen. Nitrogen use efficiency is a measurement of the proportion of fertiliser nitrogen that is taken up by the crop. If nitrogen use efficiency can be improved, both productivity and environmental management will be enhanced. Scientists are trying to breed varieties that are more efficient users of nitrogen. Researcher Nicole Robinson from University of Queensland explains. Trying to develop sugarcane varieties that are better at taking up uh, nitrogen and then also better at, at growing with the nitrogen that they've got in the tissues. So up until now the breeding focus has been on improving yield and also disease resistance. So up until now there's been no real focus on breeding for uh, enhanced resource use efficiency and that includes both water and also nitrogen. And so we're doing this by screening a wide range of genotypes under low and high nitrogen supply to see if we can identify those that do quite well or have good yields under reduced supply and then trying to identify what it is about those genotypes that makes them good at low nitrogen supply. So some of these traits might be improved uh, root growth or quite extensive root growth or maybe early vigour. So those that are quite quick to get away at the beginning of the season have an increased capacity to take up nitrogen and store it and use it uh, later in the season uh, when the nitrogen is available in the soil, so soon after, after fertiliser. I asked Nicole if in the future we might be able to tailor nitrogen rates for different varieties. Uh, yes, that would be a good thing, being able to re refine the nitrogen management, so understanding the timing of application, what best suits particular varieties, uh, varieties would be a, is a long-term goal of the, of the project. Yeah. Another way of potentially improving nitrogen use efficiency is to use products that reduce nitrogen losses. Burdekin agronomist Jason Dowie has been trialling a controlled release product with some promising results. What Agricade is, is it's a, it's a polymer coated urea pellet. So you've got a urea, you've got elemental sulphur around that urea pellet, and then you've got a plastic covering on the outside. So the water has to penetrate through that plastic coating. When it gets to the elemental sulphur, it'll create a fissure, and then that water can get in and extract nitrogen out of that urea compound. So by knowing different thicknesses of coatings, you can release the nitrogen later. Now, a word of caution, if you're using control release formulations, make sure you've got some urea in there as well, because you do need available nitrogen fairly fast. If you leave it all to late, the plant isn't going to get any nitrogen when it needs it the most. What happens is the harvester comes along and cuts the cane and we're in there a couple of days later putting on all of our nutrients in one hit and returning cane. So one of the limitations is, is that that nitrogen is sitting in the ground subject to loss. Now there's no plant there to take up, it's sitting there all in one band. Now, there's quite a lot of room for losses in the system. So we wanted to play with some controlled release products just to see if we can match supply with demand and reduce losses. So it's not about using a lot of nitrogen, it's about using it more effectively or efficiently. Technical agronomist Rob Dwyer's company has developed a range of products that could improve nitrogen use efficiency by reducing losses caused by denitrification. Uh, Inside Tech Pivot Fertilisers is continuing its investigation into the pro production benefits associated with Entech use in cane. Um, with sugar cane, or with any crop actually, there's two plant available forms of nitrogen. Uh, one's ammonium, uh, the other being nitrate. Entech is novel in the way it works. It can maintain more nitrogen in the ammonium form for a period of time that the active ingredient is working. That has potential benefits with nitrogen use efficiency. Uh, the only loss mechanism associated with ammonium is volatilisation, so with adequate incorporation, volatilisation is no longer an issue. However, with nitrate, you can still, depending on conditions, lose nitrogen through a leaching process or through denitrification. Entech, by keeping more nitrogen in the ammonium form for longer, can potentially reduce the losses through leaching and denitrification and hopefully uh, the consequence would be more nitrogen in the crop which could lead to production benefits. A component of nitrogen use efficiency is the use of the most appropriate rate of fertiliser. SRA researcher Julian Canellan has been checking that the six easy steps nitrogen rates are adequate for the Burdekin region. Uh, to date we've found that the 
uh, results have indicated that the regulated method or the six easy steps method for determining nitrogen application uh, has been adequate for maintaining uh, sustainable production and profitable production in the Burdekin. As an industry, we need to improve nitrogen use efficiency. This video has briefly examined some of the research that is underway to reach this goal. Genetic improvements could be a medium to long term option. Alternative nitrogen products will find a place in farm fertiliser programs. The six easy steps nitrogen recommendations should be used. In addition, correct timing and placement of fertiliser is very important. If we can improve nitrogen use efficiency, we'll go a long way to improving our environmental record while maintaining our productivity and profitability.